and they're going to get their parking lot paved next uh, Thursday or Friday. So that'll all be done, and their goal is to try to get back in business before uh, Christmas to sell a bunch of stuff. So if everything works out, that's great. We helped them out. And uh, uh, is there any people on the, on the veterans park we want to talk about, Steve, or is it just going along? Um, I was over to Power Coders. The voter from Power Coders uh, Monday, Tuesday, and went through the buying stuff, and they are getting ready to move in and saying last of the Power Coders. So hopefully we'll have them back uh, by the end of the month, and then we've got to get the signs inserted in, and we'll probably start the first of February or January. Where we'll Okay. Okay. Mike, just got a quick Mike, announcement. Mike. So on your tables, on your tables are the donation slips again for the Helping Hands Food Bank. Uh, we serve throughout November towards leading up to the holidays. We serve 1,400 people, 350 people for the community Thanksgiving. So thank you to all of you who have contributed and send in your donations. We still have the grant that will match whatever donation is given. Um, so uh, considering, go ahead, you can donate any time, but um, appreciate everything that you've done so far, so thank you. Okay, uh, we got two more uh, announcements back here. I don't see further here anywhere, but if you read the announcements in the email, you'll see that we are doing the dictionaries for all third graders and counting Super Bully next Friday. If you um, can at all be there at the school district office at 9 a.m., we'll install the names in the dictionaries. And it goes really fast the more people we have. And then afterwards, we need people, at least one or two people per school to go and drop the dictionaries off. And the larger in town, Schools. It's better to have these two people because there's a lot of dictionaries. <clears throat> Just a reminder that Saturday is the uh, Christmas events downtown. That includes a first time ugly sweater dash. And uh, due to many things happening at the high school, we have lived in just in the downtown area, uh, so if you haven't signed up yet, put your new sweater on it, come on down. And then we also have the events for the kids, followed by the Christmas tree lighting and great. And thanks to the landlords for always making it possible for us to have our money today. Thank you. How far is the dash? One mile. That's a dash. Okay, and the, the, timing, the timing couldn't have been better. Uh, Rock, do you have an announcement about something that you and David uh, do every year? Well, of course. You see my David and I, I think, back for uh, like 10 or 11 years, I think. And uh, some of my, I think I've won the Cougar Pie twice. He's won it, uh, he's uh, won it actually, but he's, uh, he's won the Cougar Pie. I've worn it. You've worn the husky tie for probably nine or ten times now. <laughs> so um, let's give up a nice hand. I think it looks great. I told him his socks don't match, but I can only do so much. Who owns the gray truck with the cooter plate out there? Is that your? Why well, I ran into the side of so. <laughs> Do we have the wheel? Can I do the wheel? If you are a male under 40, probably don't have to get a prostate PSA test yet, so you can just pay $4 to you can save it to the deductible. <laughs> Right. <laughs> if you have it, it's going to last year. 
here. It's going to cost three. All the people who don't subscribe to the last one, you can go back there, please. Now, you know, it sort of felt like I was leaving uh, a group out, so I've got a question for the women, too. And uh, if you have a significant other who has had uh, a uh, PSA test in the last year, did you know about it? It was $2. Did you know that he had it? $3. And you just don't know what's going to cost it. Problem. Oh, yeah, of course. And I decided we need a little bit. The Seahawks are, everybody's excited about the Seahawks this year, and they seem to be doing really good. So I thought I'd ask some quick questions so we can get on to the, the music, music we're about to hear. So the question's going to be is I'm going to give you the name of a player, and I want you to tell me where they went to college. That's a good one. Well, I'll I'll yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Georgia. Georgia.
week, uh, we're going to be putting in the dollars in the Christmas party, so uh, that's a right and standing. So, okay. Right on a happy 20, I'm I got to go last night to my granddaughter's first dance recital. And watching three-year-olds tap dance is just it's some fun to watch. <laughs>
good afternoon, or it's morning, it's always that far back. It's, it's always morning when your school teacher. Um, again, my name is Paul Brass. I care was asked to me, I think it's my 14th rotary season, which is awesome. It's always a pleasure to be here. We're going to make sure that the rest of the microphones work and the students are going to tell you their names, the grade they are in school, and what part they're seeing for you today. So, like one. Hello, my name is Zoe Slavotnik, and I'm a senior, and I sing
Uh, anyone want to take a guess at what that song is called? Uh, New Jack Jungle Jack. They were singing like a hundred thousand times. Um, that song was written by um, Kenny Krantz, who you probably knew him before, Herbie Gragrat, and before he was out in Stanwood, and then was one of probably three or four educators in the early 70s who, 70s who created this thing called High School Vocal Jazz Choirs. Um, a national day. It's way better than the swing choir, if you ask me. Um, we're going to move on and sing another swing tune called Blue Skies.
We got one more song for you. Um, if you've been here other years, you might think, oh, it's a great big choir. It really is. It's awesome. Um, we have a little bit of schedule change, different personnel. Um, so this is the best choir format to put our top tenors and basses in. And um, so it's been great. We're on splitters. We're figuring out how to, to balance, and they've done really well. Um, they didn't know these last three songs um, three weeks ago until we went to retreat. We go out to Camp Kirby every year, and um, they're sick of me, and they're sick of singing by the time we go home, but they've also learned um, some great music, and I'm really proud of how they're presenting it today. Um, they got this song when we got to retreat, and they learned it in two hours. And so we're going to sing it for you. It's called You Will Be Swinging, and it's a Matt Cuff arrangement of um, the, 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 the tag is something he wrote, and then there's, um, what, two other songs embedded in it? Three. There's Rock Around the Christmas Tree, there's Holly Jolly Christmas, and Let It Snow. Uh, Let it snow. Thank you. Okay? Blue Horizon Jazz Choir 2019-20, thank you so much for having us. This is You Will Be Swinging. And, yeah, you guys just need to listen to your director. Thank you. You're the boss. You're the boss. These are future leaders. That's awesome. Because they're going to nail it. You can talk. You'll be swinging. Uh, we're going to get to the intro. Give us a chord. We're coming in at measure 10. <laughs>
Thank you so much. Yeah, um, if you come back next year and I've got a big goofy smile on my face as well. One of two reasons. I either just screwed something up royally, or I'm enjoying what we're doing, or both, because both can happen in live music, right? I think we skipped like two and a half pages in that first song. Yeah. Hats off to the rhythm section, and like, whoa, we're singing, let it snow, let's find where we are. And that's all me. I gave him a, I gave him a, a word cue, and it was wrong. So, if I, if I thought hard enough about my job, I'd be terrified, because the trust that I'm given by these students is humbling. Really proud of them. Thank you for having us. And um, I'll be back with the orchestra in two weeks, and we wish you the best this season. Thank you so much.